in the first lesson we worked on correct hand and finger placement in C position. So check out that video. You know, there's some important techniques to practice to make playing piano easier. Today we're going to continue working in C position, adding rhythm. We're going to talk about three basic rhythms, the quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth note. In music, we count the numbers one, two, three, four, to match the beat and follow along. Each beat, two, three, four, gets a quarter note, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The eighth note and sixteenth note divide the quarter. The eighth note divides the quarter into two smaller notes. One and two and three and four and. And the sixteenth note divides the quarter into four even smaller notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now you can use a metronome to help you keep a steady beat. Each click is a quarter note. Quarter, 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 one, two, three, four, right? One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Tap your foot to keep the B four. This is another way to look at it. The big letters are the quarter. Quarter, three, four, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, sixteenth, one E, and a two E, and a three E, and a four E, and a. Make sure to count. Tap that foot to keep the steady B. All right, so in C position, right hand thumb is finger number one exactly and that is on middle c left hand pinky on the c below middle c and that's finger number five all right remember to keep your fingers curved hands relaxed and then you play we're going to practice playing each rhythm with your right hand thumb starting with the quarter that's the big letters follow along with the metronome play one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three. Now we're going to do the eighth. Go. One and two and three and four and again. And two and three and four and. Let's try the sixteenth note. One E and a two E. you to place your thumb on C and your pinky on the C below that C. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The left hand is the bass player. A common rhythm pattern in the bass is a 16th note pickup coming on the last syllable, uh, going into the next beat. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. The cool thing is you can write your own songs using different rhythm patterns. The letters written here are not chord symbols. They tell you which letters to play and on which beat in the left hand. Letter C on beat one and that same C on the uh of beat one. And then you play C again on beat two Nothing else in that B. B on three and B again on the uh of three and then B on four. A on B one and A again on B two and G is held for two beats, three and four. We're gonna play it first as single notes and then we'll bring in the octave. You're just gonna use your thumb to play each note. Curved fingers relaxed. One E and a two E and a three E. Now as 
got this. Stretch your fingers. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Right hand position. This melody, no need to move the fingers around. Each note has a finger already placed on top of it. We have one, two, three, four, five. Right hand melody, you're gonna start with fingers three and five. You're gonna play together. Then it's three, two, one, two, one. So it's together, one, together, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one. That simple. So if we were to put it together, it sounds like. and get comfortable with it, speed it up. That's it for this lesson. Remember to subscribe to my channel.